Okay, this is the return trip back from my friend's house. Let's see if I can get this up here a little bit higher. So the visor can sit all the way down. this here. It's a little antsy, I guess. Get squared in the saddle. Alright. Get comfy. Let's go. Well, hopefully the wind noise won't be too bad, I hope. So, if any of you subscribers out there that want to email me some questions, I'll try to answer them on my video blog. Like I say, I'm, a, I'm still a newbie here, still learning ropes. see all those clouds up there it looks like it's gonna, gonna rain anytime hopefully I can get home before it starts to rain never driven out in the rain yet sort of leery of it right now being not as experienced as a lot of the motorcycle v bloggers out there dirt bike for sale or they just parked it out there in one As you can tell, I'm not a real big speed demon. I don't go very fast. Not yet. Well, I probably won't because my wife calls me a snail man when I'm driving the car, let alone on a bike. So, let's try to do the speed limit here. I saw a calculation on the internet. What a bike does, what you do is you take the first number and subtract the last number to it like 39 minus 3 be 36 so I'm going 36 miles an hour and when it gets higher up in speed you know it gets higher in numbers so that's what this guy's gonna do make sure he sees me that's the biggest fear that I have people not seeing me that's the thing that's why I got the headlight modulator and got a, a trunk on the back with uh, another uh, tail light and blinkers so they can see me. I want to put some reflective striping on it because it's a black motorcycle and I wear this black with yellow riding equipment slow down here a little bit around this curve, see all this salt here. Nobody's behind me, so. Well, that's the biggest fear that I have being a newbie out here, just learning how to ride a motorcycle, is people not seeing me. That's the biggest fear that I have. 
being as big as I am, you would think that people would see me. But before I got this headlight modulator on, I had problems of people seeing me. So, I guess that's one of my biggest fears. And what we got up here. Traffic's backed up for some reason. So I'm on the horn and because of the back brake, maybe it's just heavy traffic. It's 3.44 in the afternoon. People are starting to get off work. They have a big mobile home up here on the one on the on ramp there. You see the headlight modulator flashing if you can see that sign up there. Smyrna Airport and Tennessee Rehabilitation Center. That's me that's flashing like that. That's the headlight modulator. Went under the tunnel and then it come back on. Went under the bridge and then it came back on again. That's one of the main reasons why I got, got one was so people can see me. So I got the visor down so it should cut out a lot of the wind noise. I'm hoping so. Go ahead in this left lane here. Do a head check and get over there and watch this truck. You see. Uh, he looks straight at you, but hell, you don't know if he's gonna look straight at you. Don't know if he sees you or not. See more people look at you and then still pull out in front of you, even in a car. turn to go to my home. Go on up this way. I guess the uh, V bloggers are right and you sort of get used to the it's not all restricted vision but it's not as much as it would be if it was you know without it but you still on um, even this short of time I got used to it so that's a good thing that's Papa John's man girl delivering a pizza worked for Papa John's a long time ago and believe it or not I drove a Yugo to deliver a pizza that's right a Yugo tell you what that was a pizza delivering car son but if you go into a big old puddle of water and get the ignition wet you're screwed you are so screwed you have to sit there and wait for the points and the plugs to dry off a little bit all right here's my home so that concludes the second maiden, vo maid maiden voyage of my video camera so like I said if there's any other um, things that you want to write me about or anything or whatever you just let me know and well we'll see if we can get it on for you okay thanks for watching see you later